another one and welcome everyone back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. We're gonna uh, continue on here and we're gonna go into battle. Because, oh, the mark. Actually, let's take a play, look in the marketplace here quickly. There's some interesting stuff right here. But I don't think that I actually need to buy anything just yet. Oh, we have not unlocked that yet. I also have not unlocked the blacksmith yet. Yeah, let's just go into battle. Let's just see what we can do in there. Auxiliary battles. Auxiliary battles are now available. How often you can battle is limited by your activity points indicated in the top of the screen. On normal difficulty, some auxiliary battles will not cast activity points. Good to know. Spirits of the Fallen. If you head into battle with uh, while playing online, you may see the spirits of those who perished on other players' battlefields. They are more likely to appear in places where death is frequent. Ghosts? Spirits that appear in this, sh in this shade indicate an er area where many enemy units have fallen. You can collect items that were dropped by the vanquished. Spirits that appear in this shade indicate an area where many allied units were lost. They can impart blessings such as experience or restore equipment durability. Sure, let's do that. Oh, I cannot with that account. Never mind. Because I'm not playing with my main account, I cannot do that. Uh, Mission Red Canyon. Ah, uh, I cannot do that. Auxiliary practice battle. Sure. Let's go and practice battle a little bit. No events? Well, that's good to know. Slightly moving forward down there. Look at Bailiff walk. Oh no, she's coming closer. Practice battle. White clouds. Chapter 2. Familiar scenery. Sorry, I was looking in at that battle, it's necessary to deploy battalions so that students can experience taking command. Yes. I doubt I need to say this to a mercenary like you, but if you have any questions about how to use your soldiers, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm not gonna hesitate. How does it After work? After you hire a battalion, you'll need to decide who will lead them. Battalions can contain soldiers like mages and monks who don't fight with weapons. Yeah. Be sure to think carefully about who would benefit most from the support of battalion soldiers and their specific skills. Yeah. No problem. Use the inventory menu to assign battalions to your units, granting them increased stats like attack or hit rate. These stats will grow further as the battalion gains experience fighting alongside you. Gambit and R Redling. When you deploy a battalion, you can utilize its special gambit in battle. Good to know. If a gambit is successful, your enemy will be severely shaken. Also sounds good. Units hit by gambits uh, will be rattled. Rattled units cannot move, use gambits or, be or benefit from battalions and suffer a 10% penalty to all stats. And then gambit boost. Joining forces with a nearby ally is a surefire way to enhance your effectiveness. Yeah. When the gambit is used on an enemy with the attack range of one or more of your un other units it will become a gambit boost the mighty MT and them the might MT and hit rate of the gambit might increase based on the number of units participating in this and their support level no problem uh, inventory combat battalions what do we have I have Gerald's uh, mercenaries, just straight on. The Cyrus mercenaries and Church of whatever. So, veteran mercenaries once commanded personally by Gerald the Blade Breaker. Assault troop charge attacking foes in the area. So, physical attack, crit, a, a bow, and car. Then we have the Cyrus mercenaries that give a plus 5 on hit. Well, actually, let's go over to you so that we can see precisely what they do. So, plus one to the attack, minus two to magic, plus five to hit, and plus one to tra. And then you have the Church of Cyrus, which gives Prit, Rizzle, and Ja. <coughs> yeah. 
Sorry. I don't know why I'm so sneezy right now. Um, I think I'm actually gonna leave them with where they are at the moment. With combat arts, I cannot do anything new because I don't have any more combat arts at the moment. I wish you had any, but yeah. Let's go to the map and zoom out a little bit, please. I want to see where everyone can go. Here I can place my units however I want. So I know that... Ooh, Nosferatu. Hmm... Let me think about... I have spears up there, so having... Having you two up front is a good idea for them. None of you can go and hide in the woods there, which is a little bit of a shame. Well, you can actually go in there, so that works out fine. You can also get a little bit of a boost there. They will not make it through there. But they will be able to attack me here. Hmm. You know what, if I switch you around I can stand you in here. Well, no, because then they get the evasion effect there as well. That's probably not a good idea. Huh. Thinking about what I could do. If I switch you around, that does not change too much for me there. Hmm. Sorry, I'm thinking a lot about so something useless. Let's just begin the battle. Route the enemies. Bailiff and Elgar. I will prevail. You will. Let's wait in there. Also, where is my thank you? Put me in there. <clears throat> None of you can hit her in there, which is a shame. I can send you up there. I am Ferdinand von Iyer. I will get the victory. You get some support from me. That. Stay focused. And also here. I could go in there again. They would get the benefit from that as well. So I'm gonna go and try and move around that. Oh no. Just gonna send all of them up there. Once they try to break through there themselves, then I will turn That's my around and deal with them. But for the time being, I'm good here. As you wish. You go over there to Ilgard. Just cluttering my units a little bit. Ouch. There you go. See, and now they try to get through here. But that's totally fine for me. So. First things first, Bernie. Maybe a combat art. Still not as much as it could be. Still only nine. It's eight in comparison. Yeah, it's not worth doing the combat art for that. Just for one, it's not worth it. I'm gonna send you up. Uh, wind. Versus Nosferatu. Eight and nine. Just a small difference, but better than nothing. Uh, Petra. You can go in there. Maybe I have another chance. Well, actually, nobody else will make it up there. But I have an idea. Combat. There we go. I could have also used the gambit, I just realized. But that's good enough. Your defeat was inevitable. It truly was. Can I just send you in there? Yeah, that will take you out. Perfect! For Lady Edelgard. And the level up for you, Hubert. This is harder than expected. Yes, it is. Um, cannot really get up there with anyone else. Sorry, did not want to go. 
All the way there. Could go for combat arts. 69. He's probably gonna hit me. Let's see. Oh no. Didn't even get to attack me. Oh, that's good. And that should take you out. And some egg. Take out the Not lance fighters. Much, right? You did perfect. So still have those coming from down there. I'm gonna have you as support for me right there. I'm gonna try to take them on like this. Let's go. I said end. And welcome. Ouch. Oushbag. Okay. Well, actually, a combat art probably is a little bit smarter. Thunder you, and then go in there with a combat art. Yes. Let's see, is that enough? We'll survive with one HP. That will kill you. You will die. And you will survive. If I go in here and try to take you out. Okay, so I can take you out. And you out with a combat art. Let's go. And a critical hit as well. You fought well. Unnecessary brutality is unnecessary, <laughs> but welcome. Impressive. And then I will go in there. And two attacks, you're down. Ouch. Don't care, however. Witness Bridget Pride. Good job, the Petra. And you are saved again, Dorothea, so that's good. Having uh, church soldiers. Often just have lances, so that gives clearly an advantage to Ilgard. Gonna have you a little bit in the back as support. My archers, my long distance fighters will also learn from that. You go over there. Let's see what they will do after that. No, just you go up to Petra. Oh, that's a douchebag move. I love that she's so fast. Now, are they gonna come in here as well? <clears throat> oh, they're gonna give me an advantage right now. Aha! Uh -huh. I will go in here. Dorothea, that's gonna be your bonus. Winning's always nice. Yes, I mean it is. If I stand right there, they will get the advantage of just dodge. Caution is needed. Uh, not trade. I want you to use a vulnerary. So you go down there. Ilgard, you move here. Now they will go both for you. Let's just see what's gonna happen there. Gonna have those down there, they're gonna draw the rest of them in. Oh, you're moving as well. There's a lot going on up there. Oh, ow, that still hurts. Having a healer in the party would probably be a good idea. Ha, ah, you missed. All of you need to become a little bit faster. So that you can attack more often. Because right now you're not attacking really often. So. Still you're just gonna stand around there. Because if I attack them again, they will have an advantage on me, Which I do not like. Let's go just for Wind. Nosferatu. Let's just go for Nosferatu. A little bit of extra healy. 
don't care. Can go for that. That way both of them get a little bit of experience. You worked hard for nothing. I'm gonna go over there. If you hit me, you hit hard. Could go in there for a combat art and take you out in one swing. Just need to be careful with what I'm doing. And we can go in there with Bernie. Maybe better to use the curve shot in that situation. It's still not that much stronger, but <laughs> in stealth. Can you take him out in one swing with a combat art? You can. There we go. That's what I want to see. The mark of nobility. Good job, there, Ferdinand. Good, both of them will go for Edelgard, so I don't need to be worried about that. Okay. You will come down here. Splitting the attention a little bit so that not both of them go for the same character. Boop, boop, boop. Focusing and training! Ouch! Douchebag! Up, you go for Petra. Petra is so good with the double attacks. I really love that. And level three. Come on, more speed, Petra. Yeah, and dexterity. That's why I love Petra so much because she can potentially become a character that will never be hit. And yes, I love strong characters in this game as well. But not getting hit is just such a big bonus. You don't need to worry about getting hit, you are set. Um, you're still level 1. I can thunder you out of existence. That will probably help you a little bit, Dorothea. You were wide open. <laughs> yep, that you were. And that should take you out. Beautiful. That is that. Level 4 speed and dexterity. Power dwells within. Oh, no, there can be more power. Trust me, Baylor. Uh, you cannot make it up there in any way, shape, or form. Think this through. Can go for a gambit. But that would not be worth it uh, against this character. Okay, let's. Go up here, Bernie. Do that. Nice. Just one single shot. I don't need more. And is Wind what took you out? Can you take him out? You can. You can take both of them out, but that's not the important part. There we go. That's what we want. Good. You can go and attack over here. Just some wind. If I go over here and use my gambit on you. Combat art? No, not as good. Go in there, gambit you. Onslaught! That was way better. Ooh. Yeah, there's a good level up there, Edelgard. Pushed your back, and now you cannot move. So I have the advantage here. 
you will go for Edelgard, so that's fine. If I go down with you, however, then... Let's go down and attack you and take you out. <laughs> this was beneath me. Come on now. Still raring to go. You cannot move and you will attack Edelgard. I'm fine. Hey, damage, totally fine. And you missed! I mean, we only had a 50% chance of that. Battalion level! Needed that a little bit sooner. Oh, you also went into the forest. That explains your miserable hit chance. Oopsie, one is too high. Bunny! Out of the forest, the yes, and the comes! And you're dead. Hardly worth my time. Ooh, that was good. There we go. Yes. experience is worth having. I mean, that was good enough as well. Let's go over here. Ooh, I can assist. Heal. I mean, we're not gonna hit him. So let's just go for wind. Assist is really good to have. Combat art, curved bow, 10 damage. Nice. So close to a level up. You probably will not be able to hit that. But you would be so close uh, to death afterwards. Unexpected. You have like no hit chance. But I can go in with a gambit and. Okay, the gambit can potentially turn it around for me, but it's stupid. Combat art. Let's go for that. Let's risk it. Yes, I know it's 83. I do not trust the game. Still no full level up for you. That's a lot. Hey, good there, Hubert. Renown increased. Nice. Now that was nice. Run, Bailiff! Run! Run into my hand. Come here. Come here and snatch! Nah, I'm not perfect, but whatever. Anyway, um. Let's see if I can time that. Poof! Nah, not really. And we're moving. Instruct manually. I'm not gonna make that automatically. So let's see. Uh, Ferdinand, you're still all old Hubers. Do you have any stars anywhere? Yeah, yeah. Let's go and give you a little bit of a boost here. underestimate a noble. I will underestimate a noble that you can be sure of. Buying. I am quite pleased. Come on, boost that a little bit. Because we know that this... I'm, there you go. You're beginning to understand. Lot. Good. And there you go. Have a star. Bernie. There we go. Do you have anything? Horses. As well. Come on, Bernie. You can do better. Bernie. You did it. Right? You're good, Bernie. <laughs> Believe in yourself a little bit more. And have another one. Yeah. There you go, Bernie. Oh, pretty well today. You did amazing! Don't sell yourself too short. Caspar, um, because you really did not excel for me at the moment. Um, I'm gonna give you... I think you need want some horse stuff. Nailed it! Yes, you nailed it. I'll get it next time too. Ooh, that was good. Let's go. Nailed! And one more. Thanks for your help. There you go. Boosted you a little bit. Then group task. I think I will stick with these two doing the stuff there because they did well. So let's begin the lecture. Gonna have the goal still stick to the same. Oh, Saint Michael Day is today. There will be a hymn recital. In the cathedral will. Be yes, we will participate. Why wouldn't we? 
Like seriously, why wouldn't we? Our voices are all over the place. We must learn to work together in harmony. Yes. I may sound terrible, but you won't notice when everyone else sings too. You can hear separate voices sometimes. Well, good job, Dan. You did all really well. Also, stay hydrated, please. Because this cream has been going for three hours now. So please stay hydrated. It doesn't mean anything for everyone watching this later on on YouTube. But still, also on YouTube, stay hydrated. This video has been going for 25 minutes already. There's one thing taken care of. Sure is. Ooh, that was a good job. Yes. Oh. Yes. I'm getting closer. Yeah, X prowess level two. Perhaps I've been well taught. Hope this is good for something. I also hope so. So we're getting close with Petra with her axe and the sword. Dorothea is getting close. I'm pretty sure next time we get some good levels for everyone. There we go. Ooh, seminar. We could also rest. I cannot explore, but we can have a seminar. So let's... Uh, to Those you select to lead in seminars will instruct others in their area of expertise. Has skilled instructors grant more skill experience to those who attend. People choose to attend the seminar based on how well the subject matches their skill goals. Those with high motivation are more likely to attend. So, there have some good going on for a few characters. Oh, if Seteth goes, I will be there. I will be attending any other one. The only one that I will not attend is the one that I teach. I'm highly in interested in going with... My I also want to point out, it's so funny that your character is the only one that has like a front view. Everyone is a little bit in the on the side angle and whatnot. Your character is just dead stare forward. Interesting. Uh, okay. About the begin the seminar and the group group tactics and Gerard's mercenary fighting style. Okay, interesting. Ancient Fodland fighting style utilizing land skills. Begin the seminar both reason and bow skill from an esteemed professor of the monastery at the leading crest scholar in Fodland. Uh, faith and sword skill from the beloved professor of the monastery. And fighting style developed by the Knights of Ceres that utilizes axes and gauntlets. Interesting. I kinda wanna go for the swords. Faith and sword skill. I'm not too interested in the faith part here, but the sword skill would be nice, but it's also not good. Uh, Sure, let's go for that. Yes. See what Manella can teach us. Yes. Yes. Practice yields results. Here we go. My faith got up. will this take? Physic. I'm a quick study. Breath strike. One step before the next step. And, and grounder. Really good. Just need to be a little bit stronger. The motivation of attendance increased by 50%. My own motivation at that. It's birthday! It's Mercedes' birthday. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Archer. Oh. Perfect timing, Professor. Sorry, I've I'm just gone. received word from the knights. They've located the bandits. Good to know. It seems they have them cornered. They are in Xanadu, the Red Canyon. Oh. I can't wait to get started. I'll strike down those heinous thieves before they know what hit them. Don't underestimate them just because they're cornered. Charge ahead if you must, Caspar. Just do not put the rest of us in danger. I'm going back. I won't be of any help anyway, and I don't want to get hurt. You are amazing at what you do, Bernadette, and Please have a little bit more confidence. Don't worry, Burn. It's just some bandits. We'll have no trouble at all. Dorothea, 
Do not underestimate them, please. Yeah, don't get ahead of yourselves. Unfounded optimism isn't a great strategy. No, that's correct. Let's just get this over with. Sleeping is also not gonna help us here. There is nothing to get over. We will work with each other to achieve our mission. You seem excited to get out there? I'm not sure about it. Well, you all seem excited to get out there. Except for Bernie. Come on, Bernie. It's time, Professor. Give us our orders and let's move out. No problem. We will do this, trust you me. Hi, there I am again. Let's go for our mission. Probably gonna turn myself off again? Eliminate the bandits. Well, let's go. Mission, Red Canyon Dominions. Your students have received the first assignment. Well, let's go. Yes, save it. Slowly slide across the screen, Bailiff. Slowly scribe the class. Look at you sliding down there. Oh my gosh, see you slide. Slide across. Do I need to leave? Red Canyon Dominions, White Cloud, Chapter 2, Familiar Scenery. So, we are taking children into battle, are we? I'm not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. Hey, it will be fine. It will just die, probably. I'm gonna take my... make... Do my best to solve this. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. I am well aware of that. Press the set out button during a player phase to trigger divine pulls. At the end of each battle, divine pulls uses will be recharged. If I will need them, I will use them. I hope to not need them, however. Combat arts, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Because you learned the breath strike as well. And uh, no, you learned the grounder. You also have strike. You were the Wrath Strike. You learned something new that Dorothy. Yeah. Reclass? I cannot reclass anyone just yet. I can't wait to get to the reclassing thing. Okay, let's have a quick look. So we have two X Fighters and one Archer that. Come on. I cannot. Okay, the archer can apparently just reach my characters there already. So I need to be careful with that. There's some sword fighters up there. Archer. X fighters down this way, so I know that I'm gonna send a sword fighter down this road. A lot of archers. There's some sword fighters and whatnot. Okay, I have my whole party with me, or is there anyone not with me? No, everybody's there. Okay. The archer is the first one that can hit me. How high is a defense? It's only a 5, so having you catch the archer just to return it back to him is not a good idea. Sorry, Dorothea. Your defense is even more abysmal. And yours too. Okay, uh, best defense. Lays with me, so maybe it's best if I just catch the first volley there. Um, we have the X-Fighters, so I'm gonna have the swords up front. I'm gonna send you a little bit forward. You're gonna be right there. Dorothea, you're gonna be here. Yeah, I think overall this is, uh, we are starting off in a good way. So let's begin the battle. Not too much preparation right there. Defeat the enemy commander, Belith, and they'll fall in battle. So this is the Red Canyon. Yes. A ruin of sorts by the look of it. Let's end this quickly. Let's try. The thieves must have been driven back. Be careful or the cornered mice might bite us. They will bite. A knight chased us all the way here? I am not a knight. I'm a professor. I'm a teacher. And a mercenary, but that's beside the point. Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. I mean, also a good idea. Shut your dumb mouth. Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! You can. Just because you fear death. Professor, 
I hear there's a back road to the west. Why don't we split up and attack from both the west and the front? Yes, that was my plan already. If we advance tactfully, we can attack our enemy from both sides. I leave the rest to you. Thank you for telling Regardless, me something. We must cross the bridge first. Uh, yes. Again, thank you for telling me something that I was acutely aware of. I will prevail. Yes, but I will switch this around. As you wish. Not gonna let you attack Hubert. So apparently you switched over to yeah. I will get the victory. You get up there. No, I want you to go up there. I'm just gonna use the first turn there to draw out That's the archer because I don't wanna I don't wanna risk uh, the extra damage unnecessarily. Yep. Yep. See, because that also works out great. Ooh, see? Good choice on my part. Uh, ba -ba -ba. You come up here. You attack twice with nine. What is your grounder? It has a higher hit and a higher critical chance. Hmm, but only 4%, that's not that much better. Okay, let's start it off. Bernie, combat out, curved shot. It's only a 9. So probably only a 9, uh, 1 increase. Yeah, so let's just normally shoot you. Totally, totally fine if we just do that. Then... Thea, you go and attack with thunder. Take me seriously. Okay, you just murdered it. Poor yeah. lad. Winners always nice. Well, there you go. You at least did something good with that. I Stare want to give all I can. That was. I weird. never could have pulled that off. So, is making us experience a real battle part of the church's teachings? Yes, it is. Murder is part of how you teach children. Ah. Let's go for the miasm. Bonk. Look at all the archers. Uh, Petra, you will not be able to hit anything else anymore. Um. There's stuff popping up, I do not like it, just random pop-ups on my screen, over there I mean. Let's just go, that gives an opening for someone else, like Casper or so. I'm gonna give that fight to myself. Should I have held back? Nah, we're fighting against uh, bandits right now. No holding back. Well, in that way, fa uh, case, you're gonna get that one. Can't get ahead of myself. You're doing it fine. Don't worry. I, I killed them. What have I done? The blood. Everything's fine. You will be traumatized. And that's fine. That's why the church sent you here. I am Ferdinand to experience your first real life trauma. Everything's fine. It's sanctioned by the church. Okay. What exactly can hit me there? It's not you. Ah, okay, that actually is good to know. So. You walk up here. You get to have that spot. You probably will get hurt from that, but... Ooh, rally? Thank you. Just do it, why not? Better to do something unnecessary than to not do it all. Let's just heal you. Thank you. Also boost us a good bit. You go up there. And then we're just gonna wait. Moving down. 
Ooh, you will attack me twice, that's not so cool. Ferdinand, you need more speed. You're not doing too hot there. I mean, okay, you're also level 1 only. Greatness awaits me. There you go, that's what I wanted to see, Ferdinand. No, oh, he's attacking from the far. Dang it. He's attacking from way further away than I was hoping he would. Still only nine. Could go up there with Hilgard, use a gambit, and do that. Go. Skill level up. My efforts were not in vain. No, they were not. Perfect. Both of them. Then I can go up there with Bernie and take you out before you get to hit me. <laughs> you back. Can I go now? You're doing great, Bernie. What did I expect? Never mind, Bernie. That was kind of a disappointment, but still, speed went up, so that's good. I don't care if they're stealing. Can I go home? No, oh, the trauma, Bernie. It's fine. I'm gonna go up there and assist you. Unexpected. Now so close, come on now. You can go up there, Dorothea, you can get that one. It's slowly but surely getting stronger. Um I can fight through anything. Try. Oh wait, you are really hurt. If I send you up there, okay, you're not in any danger. Oof! If you miss, you will be hurt. Come on. Good. You should be on it. These ruffians are no match for a noble like me. Hey, whatever you say. So I'm level 4, so technically I still need you to grow. If you screw that up for me, I still have Hubert, so good job. What a jump! There you go, level 2. Stronger than this? Well, then prove it to me. All real battles this exciting? Come on, let's get on to the next one. This is like slight psychopathic tendencies if you ask me. So I should have used rally. Even if I didn't need it, I should have just used it for the support. Okay, these are sword fighters. Let's rally. Well done. Why not? Bailiff, you move upwards. Uh, where is my healer? Basic. Back to the fray. The crest of Kathleen. Oh, that boosted that. Good to know. It's, it's simple logic. It's okay. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Can send you all the way up there that might potentially be helpful actually to send you up here you can have that as a staggering post gonna have you back there bernie you will have to move behind that i hate going through like narrow passages like this because you are like streamlined to get killed potentially so let's see i hate the mage Okay, a little bit of healing there from you. You can attack Edelgard. Two times and two times. They will kill you. In that case, I'm gonna send you. Um, 
over here. Two times against Casper with eight damage. Gonna send you here. Six and six, and you attack Edelgard. Okay, that's fine. Burn, I'm gonna send you down by one. I'm gonna go up and rally. Well done. Rally you. Just for the additional benefit from that. Okay, let's eat that. I'm gonna eat that one. Ouch. But we're fine. Uh, both of them actually just attack Bela. Okay. You should help me. There we go. Perfect. They're moving way more by themselves than I thought they were gonna. Yeah! Good withstood. Um, I'm gonna have you on the long range. I'm gonna heal Bayla. Thank you. Um, okay. First things first, Bernie. Let's just do that. <laughs> Donk. <laughs> Shut you in the knee. Then we can go in there with Petra. Take you out. I will win. Petra, I love your critical My hit chance. Amazing. People and beasts are as one. Calm your heart and do not be worried about this killing. Everything will be fine. Well, actually, let me go. Dorothea. You get that one. Please. Good. Good, good, good. Hey, three clippers. Thank you for the follow. I don't know why the alarm didn't go off because I have an alarm for that. Or it did go off and I just didn't hear it. That might also. Oh, yeah, I didn't hear it. Because I'm in the game with my audio and not on my screen. Well, good on me. I can send you up there and use a gambit. Now's our chance. Assault troop, go! Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because I have uh, when I play games on my Switch, I have my audio output set to the separate screen, and then I don't hear any audio that's going on on my PC or so. So that's why I missed that, so I'm sorry. I mean, it didn't miss it by that much, but still, I'm sorry. Uh, Ferdinand, it should be good enough for you. Here you go. You are not. Oh, so close, come on. But your skill went up, so I'm okay with Seems that. simple enough. So you will lure that dude over there, which is what I want. And there's more coming from that direction already. <sighs> Gonna have to make sure that I'm well prepared to face. We stole this treasure. It's all ours. There's no way we're gonna give it up to some knights. I don't think that's how possession works, but I'm gonna humor them. You there for a moment. This is our chance. Disturb it. Well, you missed. I see what you were trying to do there, but you missed. Okay, you know what? I can do that too. Shall I help? Oh, gambit boost. It's time. On the mover. Wow. I've exhausted this topic. Well, that was good, but that was also bad. Uh, let's go in there, attack you with thunder. How 
could I miss him? The game and its hit chance. It's bull. Uh, sure, just so that Bernie has a little bit more experience overall. There you go. Nice. And then I can go in there and Petra should be able to take you out, no problem. Petra is just out for blood. Like seriously, just key. Chests and doors can be unlocked with the appropriate keys. Move the unit with the key next to the chest or door and they will have the option to unlock it. Units with the lock touch ability can open chests and doors without keys. Okay, the archer will attack Ilgard as well. Do, 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 do. Assist and physic. You'll be repaid. I'm just thinking about something right now. Like. You can only attack Ilgard. It's the archer that is going to attack her as well and will be the problem. So that will be 11 and that will be 19 damage. That's a lot. We only have 10 damage, uh, health after that. We have fine though and I can heal her afterwards. So I think I'm ready to take that risk. Unless I can do that. Casper, you will survive that. If you don't survive that, then I'm gonna kill you myself. Good dodge there. Was worried for nothing, I see. Also, a guard. Ouch. Like, rude. Okay. Casper, you seriously are a little bit disappointing. So you have the key, so I definitely want you to go over there. I cannot reach that douchebag, and he seems like a little bit he's baiting me into something stupid that I don't want to have any part of. Um. Dup, dup, dup. You need to be careful with where you can go. Well, actually, you know what? You can go. Uh, no way, way, a uh, threat for me now. So, me as I'm. Take him out. Good job, Hubert. Hardly worth my time. Oh, come on now, Hubert. Don't be that. Allow me to clean this up for you, Lady Edelgard. You have some creepy lines, you know that? You are. There we go, that's a little bit better. It was okay. And where are your stats? This can't be right. Wow, you're really disappointing right now. Casper, can you take him out? Good job, Casper. Let's see. Ah, oh, no level up. So you will attack her. I will send you that way. You're gonna get the assistance of Bernie and Dorothea. That will be my swoop troop for that side. And you will just heal Ilgard there. A great help. There we go. And Ilgard, I could push you forward a little bit. You know what? Let's just see who you will attack. Of course you got, because you don't have as much disadvantage on that fight. <coughs> and you hit as well. Ooh, skill up. Skill for Noble. I've mastered this art. Good job, you did. Um Let me think. Could train you with healing. That should work. Because Casper, you're close to a level up, and hopefully that will work. Right makes mine, right? There we go. Pretty good, don't you? That's 
Yes, I'm gonna give that to you, Cass, but that is actually pretty good. Dexterity and speed is what I wanna see. Defense is good, and your strength as well. Resistance is just a nice boom. Uh, so you go up. Well, actually, I'm gonna send you like all the way up there and then heal, so that I walk the full length. Well done. Good jump with that. Bailiff. If I send you in there, you will just get hurt, so that's not gonna be helpful. Also, you will not move from there, so it's not helpful for me to actually get in there, regardless of that. Okay, gonna send you here. And the support squad. Let's see how you will fare against them. Now. Oh. Again with disturbance. Come on, Petra, dodge it. Dang it, Petra. Ouch. Well. That oh, I cannot attack you from there. I'm just gonna shoot you then. Why can I not attack you from there? Combat arts. A grounder. Just a normal attack. It's 11 damage that I'm gonna take from a normal attack. I'm gonna take 11 damage no matter what. And then I am at 11. I'm gonna send you right here. And then I'm just gonna wait that turn because if I attack then uh, she will die. And that's not what I want. I'm gonna send you down there and gonna try to stay out of the reach of Mr. Douchebag uh, Archer right there because they will just attack me from afar and I don't need that. I don't need that stress in my life. Let's shake things up. Gonna do that again, disturbance. And again got hit by that. Do not like that. Let's shoot you again. Perfect. And can you take the douchebag out now? Yes, and then I can heal you, so you're fine. Ouch. My heart is full of victory. Nicely done. Oh. Disappointing, but I will not misplace my heart. I mean, you at least got some defense up with that, so I am gonna say we are mostly fine. Still cannot heal. Why can I not heal? Oh, because physics is empty. I only have heal left one more time. Uh, Bailiff, you go over there. None of them will be able to hit me, but if I go in there, I might run into a problem. So I'm just gonna wait an additional turn before I do anything stupid. Uh, and over here, I'm gonna send you down and see if maybe I can get some traction over here. And you're not doing anything that I wasn't prepared for, so we're good. There was one archer in the background that was really like, oh no, we're gonna get attacked. Uh, combat arts, wrath strike, that will not fully kill you, but I do not care. It just will hurt, and that's what I'm for. Hurt. And we can attack you. Sure, that's gonna be fine. Ugh, disgusting. For Lady Edelgard. 
Yeah, there we go. Any experience is worth having. I mean, your strength is not really what I was looking for, but still. Ooh, your battalion went up. Get some extra hit with them. Okay. Uh, idea. Send you here. Support from you. We're good with that. Let's assist with the deal. I thank you. There you go. I need to go up and around. How much hurt does you deal? Nine. And you probably will attack from way further away than I want you to. So I'm gonna draw it back a little bit. Let's see how that's gonna go. Okay. Subpar. Hey, you're still coming down here. You are an idiot after all. So you go and open the chest and see what's in there. Oh, that's good. No, that's not where I can attack you. You can attack me back. But it's worth it. Curve shot. Bonk. And then I can go down there. It's not a lot with the sword. Oh, you just have that, but you cannot use it. Oh. You cannot do that as well. Thinking about just... Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna stand there for a moment and let's see what's gonna happen then. Did I not do anything with the other side there? I think I just completely ignored that side. Whoops. You shoot Dorothea. Ouch, but whatever. Uh, Casper. Go to town. We already goofed it a little bit, so. D plus. Good job. Maybe we have Archer that can attack us. Do you still have? You have a vulnerary, so I'm gonna send you in there. Use that. Get some assistance there. I can fight through anything. Yeah. Oh, you're out of magic. That's your problem. So go, Bernie. Good job, Bernie. Hide. You don't need to hide. Just show your colors. I guess hard work does pay off. It does, and that looks really good. Let's go and send them forward. Let's see what we're gonna have to deal with now. Ouch, but okay. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. The mercenaries withdrew. Gonna go in there. Some good damage from you. Yeah, sure. Let's just go. Ooh, that's what I love to see. Where can you attack to? Just so that I have an idea of what I shouldn't do. Like mostly dying is what I shouldn't do, that's for sure. Hardly worth my time. Do you have a vulnerary? Good. Let's use that because my group is a little bit hurt. I definitely need to buy stuff for them in the future. Like healing stuff, mostly. 
You look good. Bernie, you can move up and maybe also heal yourself. You have two vulneraries. So I shouldn't be too worried about you. Let me send you up a little bit. Maybe the uh, priest will move. Yep. Are you going to move? Nah, you're stationary where you are. Nosferatu. Meyer? Miasm. Miasm is stronger. I do not care. That's that's not too... Not like that actually does a lot. Casper cannot get in there. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Yes, we know Ferdinand. I don't wanna have you take too much damage there. So let's just go with Bailiff. Each battle a chance to grow. And hopefully you'll grow strong with that one. That dexterity. Step forward. That's good. And defense. Something that we will definitely need in this uh, fight right now. Just go and send you all the way up. Oh, that was surprisingly good. It started off with Miasma. I did not underestimate you. Bonk. See. Combat arts, smash. Well, actually, if I just do that, I need to make sure that if things go wrong, I can take you out. Yeah, if things go wrong, I have um, Bay left to take it out. Just die like a good little rich kid. Do you really think being born a commoner gives you the right to kill? Despicable. Does it, do you think the right being uh, being born as a noble gives you the right to kill? That's also a good question, isn't it? Ah, oh, come on. I was hoping for crit. That hurts. Oh, close to the level up. Can you take that one out? If you miss your dad, I'm not gonna risk that. I know that the game is a douchebag. We're not gonna risk it. I'm also... I'm... Again, we're not gonna risk anything. I'm going for... You're... It can't be. The mercenary from before? It's the one now. Your pals with the knights? I am... A mercenary. You could pick technically link the things together and be like oh they paid you but hey I'm friends with them apparently uh, I'll kill you and your pesky brats good luck well that didn't work out for you now did it uh, I should have never listened to that idiot what a mistake uh. could you go into more detail about that while you're dying no shame Thanks for the level up, though. Ooh. We must all do our part. Yeah, I would love a little bit more dexterity and speed in general, but that was fine. Thank you for leading us, Professor. You're welcome. Though I suppose there was no way we could lose to a familiar foe. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, don't say that. In any case, something about this canyon feels inexplicably strange. Is it the feeling of? Death all around us? Because I understand death. Stage compelled. Hey, Casper! I didn't know that you were gonna be the MVP, but good job! Really amazing. Good job, Casper. Well, select the items option. Run, Bailiff! Do I need to disappear? Yes! Da, da, da. I remember this being a peaceful place. Since when I remember this being a peaceful place. 
Hmm. Da -da -da. Question mark? Hmm. I wonder why it is that you recall this place. Good question. I also wonder why I liked it when I said that this used to be a peaceful place. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. I mean, you speak inside of my head, so you. <sighs> Whatever. What is it, selfish? <laughs> I'm sorry. Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. N I never do. I'm always tense. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. Yeah, me too. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. You're sure about that? Because... Huh. Still feels familiar, but have you seen this before, Sylphus? Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. Well, we forgot stranger things in life. I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. Well, that's weird. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. Interesting. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. I wonder too, because I have no clue. Professor, I was wondering ah. where you were. It's about time we headed back to the monastery. Why is everyone chump scaring me? It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. I hope for you, Sophus. Oh, by the way. Yeah? It seems you've earned my gratitude. Oh. The thieves who came here are no more. Oh, I mean, you're welcome. I technically did it for... The monastery, and for the reason I'm a mercenary and I take out thieves and bandits on the regular, but but still, you're more than welcome. Uh, and why are you grateful? I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. Sounds good for me. In any case, you must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. I try my best again you're just in my head that is which startles me oh you think you're standing strong <laughs> of course you are it was a jest no of course it was on our way out i had the chance to observe the red canyon did you notice anything professor yeah it was surpri surprisingly brown and gray and not really red it's not what you meant? I mean, I did, I did notice something. A strange atmosphere and that it wasn't red. That's what you mean, right? Of course. I expected as much. Okay, good. The area was covered in ruins. Yes. Much more curious than the last. And none of it was red. They did not match the architectural style of any era or culture within the Empire. Or across all of Fodlan, for that matter. Yes. That can only mean one thing. Aliens! The valley civilization must have flourished and fallen in the distant past, long before the Empire was established. Or that, yeah, that makes uh, way more sense than aliens. You're correct, Edelgard. I was Who just do you testing think you. Lived there? <clears throat> Definitely not aliens! Our ancestor, a culture long since perished. Subterranean beings! Maybe a long, long since perished culture. <laughs> it's possible they weren't even human. Yeah, aliens. Mm -hmm. See, it looks pretty obvious all of a sudden. Hmm. Perhaps their remnants still influence this world. I mean, alien technology. See, Elliot, we are on the same page, apparently. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. Don't know what you mean with safely. I pray that their souls find salvation. Yes. Again, what do you mean with safely? But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Yes, we should. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. I will try, but 
what am I? Am I a professor? Am I like a, a therapist? Caretaker? Uh, mercenary? I mean, I will do all I can. Good. I have high expectations for you. Uh, don't. By the way, how was your time in Xanadu? It was pleasant. Legend has it in ancient times. A goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. Oh, so aliens? For a goddess from the heavens, Xanadu could only have been a temporary haven. Okay. Temporary haven? Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. Oh. Point. The goddess is always watching over Foldland from her kingdom above. A spaceship. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. Okay. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. Okay. Um, I didn't know. I see. Sorry to make you sad about that. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Zeros. I am not a very devoted person. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. Okay. Yeah, am I finally getting my intel? As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. Sure. A goddess? I have no memory of her, but then, I have no memory at all. So it's not really surprising that you have no memory of her, so it was kind of a weird statement to make to begin with. Cool, Sophus. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Ah, a sense of deja vu and familiarity. Estranged, if you ask me. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. Maybe you were the go <gasps> Maybe you are an alien, Sophus! If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? Alien ghost? I don't know. Hmm. No, that cannot be. I am most certainly alive. How would you know if you're dead? That's a good question right now, isn't it? Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? I mean, you are in my head, so it's a really good question. Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on. And now I'm forced to stay with you instead. Whatever that regret may be, it's weird that it tied you to my brain. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> uh, you're getting sleepy, I see. Okay. Run, Bailiff, run! Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. That sounds reassuring. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Okay. Cute yet humble. S no, no, no. Slide, Bailiff. Slide. Slide with all of your might, Bailiff. See Bailiff sliding around. No. There are new areas to explore on the monastery. Boop. I am here again. Received 2000 G from the Church of Sarah's as funding for this month's activities. Uh, with time, I say we go through. Professor, uh, I'm gone again. For your yes, what is it? I was not ill prepared for this right now. 
We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Who is that? Thank you. Can I get some intel finally? Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He's been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. Okay. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Okay. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. And why do I have a mission then that has to deal with it? Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights' rear guard to deal with the aftermath. Okay. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. I'm ready for battle in that case because, I mean... I'm a protagonist face, obviously, so you can suspect that there will be battle. Excuse me. You sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to get to know you. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. Cool. I would have loved to learn about you a lot earlier, but whatever. She is one of our bravest knights, and that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. Sounds good. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. It sounds like a weird threat that I'm um, getting like... That you put place against me right here and I don't know how I like it. But okay. Is it okay to plop in now? Go for a visit on Lindhart. Well, hello, Professor. I should leave again. all the way to my room to... Oh. Oh, what? You've brought the materials from your lecture I slept through. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, come on now. I won't do... Th <laughs> Don't miss the lectures. It's not that I want to miss lectures, exactly. So you want to miss certain lectures? Drowsiness is my arch nemesis. For some reason, I just can't seem to win against it. I know people that have that exact problem. And a lot of people always say that it's iron deficiency. But even after the blood tests... Um... It wasn't iron deficiency, so it has to be something else. So we gotta figure something out here together, Lenthard. <sighs> Just talking about it makes me sleepy. If it's the talking about it that makes you sleepy, then we immediately have one part of the cure, and that is we're never gonna talk about sleeping or drowsiness next to you. That way we are at least partially safe. Uh, let's wake you up with a bit of training. A trip to town might help your mood. You're not motivated enough. That sounds correct. It's not that I don't have enough motivation. The problem is that I don't have any at all. Not for useless things. It is the problem. What do you see as useless? I must compliment you, though. By this point in most conversations, I'm bored senseless. So at least you have some sense of uh, motivation to talk with me, so you don't see my conversations as useless, even though I ramble a lot, which I find nice of you. But I'm enjoying this. I wonder why. I also wonder why. What is it about you that fascinates me so? Yeah, that's that's also a good question for me right now. You're definitely a strange one. Yes, that's correct. Maybe so. In truth, your very nature is odd. <laughs> that's not the first time I've heard that. You're definitely not a commoner, but you don't seem like a noble either. You're something else. I personally call myself a dragon, so thank you very much. Or you could be a villain who came here to enact some evil plot. That wouldn't surprise me either. I mean, that would be a fun way to go through this, but I don't think I can play it that way. Is that what you think? Hey, Professor. Will you ever allow me to investigate that crest of yours? Oh. It I mean... won't hurt a bit, I swear. I'm sure I could find out all sorts of things about your crest. And you. I mean... Of course, I'm not as experienced with such research as Professor Hanneman, but I do what I can. In that case... Someday, I think I might like to become a Crest Scholar. You never know. I mean, we could talk with Professor Hanneman about that. 
That's hmm. Oh, don't trouble yourself. I didn't mean now. I've got a lot of other research I'm working on at the moment. I tend to start a project, get bored, and then leave it be. And that sounds like so many Twitter artists I'm following. I might be ready to investigate your crest soon. I'd have to tidy up a bit first. I mean, I'm fine with whenever you have time for it. On that note, <sighs> good night, Professor. Don't talk about sleeping. Wake up! Smack you over the face! Ooh, C support! Can I plop in now? I'm wary! Students! Yeah, there you go! You're welcome, womanizer! There we go! You have allies who can uh, take beginning exams. Take a look at the certification to review which they can take. And I get five beginner seals. Uh, online statistics bring on lets you see the behavior of players around the world. You can see what percentage of players chose which activities on a given day. That's not relevant because we cannot play online with the account that I'm playing on. Because it's not my online account. Uh, let's go for the certifications and I think then we're gonna leave Fire Emblem and I'm gonna jump into a different game. For the stream, not for the video that's on YouTube later on. So, ooh, Baylath. We can go for beginner. Let's see, we can become a Myrmidon, which I like, a fighter or a monk. I love Myrmidons because, especially Swift with high avoidance, the Myrmidon definitely wields the sword. I love Myrmidons, I love being fast, I love being evasive, and I love critical hit chance, and that will give me that, so yes! Yes! I don't know what I'm doing! Hey! And we passed! A new path to tread. Nice! Change from current class into a newly certified class? Yes! Now we have Myrmidon, which means now we have more swiftness stats for us in the future. Uh, everyone else can't really do anything just yet. So, let's just see, but yes! Myrmidon. So, we can train ourselves a little bit as a Myrmidon now, and then we can become a different class as well, if we want to. So, that's really good! There's also some battles that apparently we can take, some auxiliary battles. I only have one point for that, so we can see what we can do with that. But that's all for next time. Uh, in that regard, I'm going to switch over to face mode right here. Yeah, and you still hear it, which is good. So, for YouTube, that's going to be it for Fire Emblem 3 Houses at this time. Hope you all enjoyed it and... You can join in live for these streams. I will announce them every time on Twitter when I go live with them. And I would love to see you hang out with me for a while. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. So, goodbye. <laughs>